See that? All are welcome, especially if you have money. How's it going, people? I don't know if this is a good day to do an outdoor video. It's a little gusty, and there's a lot of people around me. But, got another one of these in the mail. They change the color every once in a while. It's a two-day audio-visual presentations, hands-on experience with Di Dianetics so that you can see the results and benefits for yourself. Two days, huh? <laughs> Somehow that just sounds creepy. All right. <sighs> Check this out. And I guess that's what the chart looks like. Find out what your career barriers are and get rid of them. Determining your relations with others Discover how well you communicate, your problem areas, your 10 key personality traits are shown here. Discover your level of happiness, stability, stress, energy, ability to communicate, and more. How to do better in work. Are you really aggressive enough, competent? Increase your self-certainty. Your strong points. Know your strengths to take advantage of them and they'll learn your weaknesses for the same reason. <laughs> what you need to improve yourself. Are you sometimes too critical of others and yourself? Call today for your free consultation and results and there's a number down there you can see it you can dial it <laughs> uh, 200 questions I don't know if I'll do these all in one video let's uh, let's go for 50 and then maybe 50 at another date and time what do you think of that all right are you one of those people interested in knowing more about yourself your strong points, your problem areas, how to be happier, what you need to improve yourself. Now, thanks to this free service, the last one you'll see from them, <laughs> in filling out this personality analysis and receiving a confidential personal evaluation by a trained expert. Good, <laughs> they're experts. You know, that witch doctor, uh, he's an expert. Just ask him. <laughs> He'll confirm it. He'll confirm his own claims. <sighs> yeah. In informal surroundings, you don't have to dress up. <laughs> you can know your strong points and what you need to improve. Fill in the following, that's where your name and all your personal stuff goes. Uh, just fill out the questionnaire and mail it in. Even though it's they don't provide post, but you gotta that's not free. <laughs> Everything you need is enclosed right here except postage. Uh, make sure you understand each question. Read it as many times as necessary, Slowpoke. Please answer every question. You can give your opinion if you are uncertain about the answer. Do not stay too long on one, uh, with one question. Answer it as soon as you understand it and go back to the next question. Mail it in. I want to remind you of that. I, I won't be doing that. They can, the auditors, they, they can watch this video if they like and tell me what they think then. Uh, just how fucked up am I, really? All right. We analyze the results and prepare your personality chart, which uh, looks something like this picture. It's all nifty little graph there, you know. <laughs> in and have the results explained to you for free. We 
We'll call to arrange a time for you. Follow these instructions. Answer each question as to how you feel right now. Capitalize and underline that right now part. On the answers, you have the choice of three columns in which to mark your answer. Plus means mostly yes or decidedly so. Mid is a question mark. Yeah, it means uncertain, maybe. Minus is a, you know, it's a minus, it's a dash. Means mostly no or decidedly no. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to expound. <laughs> I just can't say yes, no, or maybe. Sorry. All right. Uh, here we go. Okay. And the winds are kicking up. That's nice. I don't even know if this thing will be able to hear me. One. Do you make thoughtless remarks or accusations which you later regret? Eh, once in a while. I think everybody does. I'm a little... I tend to be a little more thoughtful these days than I used to. Two. When others are getting rattled, do you remain fairly composed? Yes, sometimes. Sometimes I get rattled too. Sometimes I'm pretty good in a crisis though. It's, uh, yeah. Three. Do you browse through railway timetables, directories, or dictionaries just for pleasure? Eh, I'm going to have to say no. I don't think that's very interesting. Uh, if I do go through, the, if I'm going to look something up in a dictionary, I do find that I end up looking up other words because it's like, oh, look at that one. But, yeah, it's for the railroad timetables, nah. Dictionary is pretty cool, though, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't sit there and just read it, though. But I, I look up things in the dictionary. All right. It is software pleasure. Four. When asked to make a decision, would you be swayed by your like or dislike of the personality involved? I might be, but I'd like to think I wouldn't be. I try to disregard things like that and uh, consider what the actual problem or question or situation is. Just because I dislike somebody doesn't mean I can't work with them. Although I tend to like most people. Five. Do you intend two or less children in your family even though your health and income will prevent more. I don't want to have any kids. And I don't have any that I know of. Um, no. Nah. I think there's enough people crapping out a kid every year and a half. They don't need any help from me to make problems worse. But yeah, kids are okay. I, some kids are great. Some are just okay, some not so much. All right. No. No. Six. Do you get occasional twitches of your muscles when there is no logical reason for it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I've even got a char charity horse every once in a while, but uh, yeah. not lately. Damn wind's kicking up. Seven. Would you prefer to be a person in, in Would you prefer to be in a position where you did not have the responsibility of making decisions? Eh, unless there's nobody competent to make decisions, then I guess I'd feel like I should step up and make decisions. But no, yeah, I'm a good team player. I'm, I'm also good at making decisions if I have to. I listen to people. Alright, I don't care. Uh, just as soon not have the responsibility, I guess. But, eh, I can do it too. I've, I've, I've had it both ways, it's fine. Alright. Uh, eight. Are your actions considered unpredictable by other people? Well, here we go, you're asking me to project to assume that I can tell what other people think, even about me. Um, honestly, I don't know what other people think. I never thought to ask. Do you ever go up to ask people, hey, what do you think of me? That sounds a little uh, needy and creepy. No, I, I don't know what people think. 
Thank you for asking. Uh, I'm not going to do any projection here. All right. All right. Nine. Do you consider more money should be spent on Social Security? Yeah, if you can find out where to get it from. <laughs> It'd be nice if we had more compassion and could actually do something about it, but I don't know. It would be nice, sure. More Social Security, please. All right. Um, Ten. Do other people interest you very much? Yeah, some people interest me a great deal and some not so much. Okay. Eleven. Is your voice monotonous rather than varied in pitch? I've been told it's annoying. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's monotonous, I guess. I think it's all over the place. It's not a great voice, but it's the only one I got, so I'll, you work with what you got. All right. Twelve. Do you normally let other the other person start the conversation? Yeah, sometimes. Unless I have something to say, then I'll start it. Uh. Thirteen. Are you readily interested in other people's conversations? Uh, yeah, I, I listen a little, I guess. Uh, some conversations are boring. Some are interesting. If it's an interesting one, I'm interested. There you go. I guess that's sort of that maybe section there. If it's interesting, I'm interested. Fourteen. Would the idea of inflicting pain on game, small animals, or fish prevent you from hunting or fishing? Well, I'm not real big on hunting. I used to when I was younger. I, I like to fish. I mostly catch and release though. Um, I don't want to hurt nothing or nobody, but uh, life is unfair and uh, even a bit cruel sometimes. I just try to be compassionate whenever I can. I don't want to hurt anything, but that's not enough to make me give up fishing. <laughs> or uh, being a carnivore, an omnivore. Alright. Because I'm sure plants feel pain too. Life is pain. Get over it. All right. Fifteen. Are you often impulsive in your behavior? Yeah, sometimes I am. Sometimes I live in a moment just for the fun of it. And at other times I plan everything uh, to a T. Yeah. Sixteen. Do you speak slowly? I don't think so. I think I've I try to slow down sometimes. <laughs> 17. Are you usually concerned about the need to protect your health? Uh, no, but I should be. Shame on me for not being more health conscious. But uh, I still love cheeseburgers and stuff. All right. And I don't exercise enough. All right. 18. Does an unexpected action cause your muscles to twitch? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. I think that's normal, isn't it? Nineteen. Are you normally considerate in your demands on your employees, relatives, or pupils? I'll say yes. <sighs> I don't have any pupils or employees, but... Uh... I don't make everybody behave a special way. No, uh, show some class, that's all. Uh, uh, I respect people and I like to be respected when possible. But I don't have high expectations. I live in the real world. <laughs> all right, 20, uh, 20. Do you consider that you could give a snap judgment? Yeah, if I had to. Otherwise, I'd rather, you know, ruminate a little. 21. 
Do your past failures still worry you? I'm not worried about anything that's in the past. <laughs> Can't do anything about it. What's the point of worrying? 22. Do you find yourself being extra, act, act, extra active for periods lasting several days? Uh, no, not since I gave up speed. Uh, 23. Do you resent the efforts of others to tell you what to do? Depends. It depends on what their reasons are. Are they a bunch of fundy, religious freaks who want to proscribe any, everything they're not personally into? And yeah, I resent it. If it's somebody who knows what they're talking about, and I can see their point, I don't mind. No. I don't mind, you know? And when in Rome, do as Rome, right? Yeah, so not too much. 24. Is it normally hard for you to own up and take the blame? Eh, nah. It's easier that way. A lot of times. It's like, hey, my bad, sorry, I'll make it better. It's a lot easier than maintaining a lie. That's the department of these guys. Alright. 25. Do you have a small circle of close friends rather than a large number of friends or speaking acquaintances? I got both. I don't really... Well, I got a lot of acquaintances and, a, and some friends. And some acquaintances are friends, you know, various degrees. 26. Is your life a constant struggle for survival? Well, not at the moment. Just had a big old cheeseburger. I'm fine for a while. But sometimes it gets like that. Not so much these days. I've got more of a safety net these days. And a little, much better off than I used to be. All right, thanks for asking. All right. Uh, 47. Do you often sing or whistle just for the fun of it? I can't do either very good, so it's not fun. Uh, 28. Are you considered warm-hearted by your friends? There you go again, asking me to project. I consider myself warm-hearted. How's that? As for what they think, I never asked. And I'm not going to assume. All right, what a stupid question. Stop with the projection, all right? I don't know what other people think. I didn't ask. All right. 29. Would you rather give orders than take them? I could give them or take them. I could even disobey them. <laughs> but it's, see, I don't have to be the guy giving orders. If someone competent is giving orders, I'm cool with that. I can follow orders. I can give them if there's nobody else who's competent and it's like, oh, guess I'm elected. All right. Thirty. Do you enjoy telling people the latest scandal about your associates? Eh, I hear a lot of it, though. I don't. I don't date, engage in gossip very much. I just listen to it. <laughs> people seem tend to hear this shit before I do. Sorry, it's getting cold. Oh, that's better. Damn, temperature dropped. Looks like it's gonna rain a little bit. Better hurry up. All right. Um. 31. Could you agree to strict to strict discipline? Well, I see it's in strict discipline is in quotation marks. So you obviously mean something by that, Biatch. Uh, it sounds kind of kinky. I'm not into that whole S&M thing, you know, spank me, spank me. So I'm not into discipline of that sort, if you mean. I do believe it's self-gratification and delayed gratification. <laughs> I believe in delayed gratification. That's a form of self-discipline. As for strict discipline, from who? You guys? You Scientology goons? 
No, I don't think I dig that very much. 32. Would the idea of making a complete new start cause you much concern? Uh, like what? Join the Sea Org? <laughs> the Sea Org or become one of your mini drone apostles? <laughs> A change for the better? Sure. I mean, if I won the lottery tomorrow, I think I could probably handle the change. <laughs> if society collapsed, I would do my best to handle the change if I'm around. But, as in cutting away, you know, cutting off from my job of 22 years, uh, gainful employment, just to be a cult member, um, don't think I like that very much. All right. 33. Do you make efforts to get others to laugh and smile? No, because if you're trying, you're doing it wrong. Just be. There's nothing worse than somebody trying to force funny. Just be. Live in a moment. It'll be funny, probably. If, if not, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I do try to cheer people up when they need cheering up. Uh, 34. Do you find it easy to express your emotions? Uh, yeah, I find it difficult not to, <laughs> but I try. I try not to express my emotions as much because some of my emotions are pretty volatile sometimes. Some days I'm just not at my best. I get depressed, and that's when I try not to express my emotions. People ask me how I'm doing, and I say, I'm outstanding. I'm spiffy. How are you? That's a fucking lie. See? But nobody wants to hear. I'm so fucking depressed, I'm thinking about, oh, jumping off the roof. No, I don't want to hear that. And I, I'm not going to do that. But I mean, I get that way sometimes. I feel bad sometimes. And I don't fucking express it because no one wants to hear it and it doesn't help. Instead, I fake it until I make it. I, I keep it positive until it becomes positive again. So, whatever that question was, I hope I answered it. All right. Oh, yeah. Express your emotions. Uh, 35. Do you refrain from complaining when the other person is late for an appointment? Eh, sometimes I tend to bitch a bit. I try not to. It's, it's bad form. Uh, but, yeah, I can, I, I can be a bit of a complainer once in a while. I'm aware of that, and I'm working on it. I start to complain and go, oh, there you go. And I'll stop. Strict discipline. Self-discipline. That is noticing things about yourself and fixing it yourself. I don't need you guys. All right. See, I guess I have an attitude for it. There you go. All right. Uh, 36. Are you sometimes considered by others a spoil sport? I don't know. I don't ask people, hey, am I a spoil sport? Don't know. Put that down as maybe. Maybe I am. If any friends of mine are watching, chime in. Am I a fucking spoil sport? I probably am, aren't I? I didn't even know it. I need to start asking people what they think of me. Thirty-seven. Do you consider there are other people who are definitely unfriendly towards you and work against you? Eh, I've had that experience in the past, but uh, lately, nah. Things are good. I'm getting along with folks, and uh, it's hunky and dory. It's all cool. Yeah, more people are friendly these days. Isn't that wonderful? Thanks for asking. All right. 38. Would you admit you were wrong just to keep the peace? Hey, if it works, keep it peaceful, man. It doesn't fucking matter anyway. 39. Do you have only a few people of whom you are really fond? I'm fond of humanity. Just wish they'd stop fucking like bunnies and crapping out all these kids that they can't afford to take care of. You know, I mean, it's, 
I think we have enough people already. Let's slow it down. Put some money in the bank. Instead of living at the edge of poverty because you can't control yourself. All right. Anyhow. 40. Are you rarely happy unless you have a special reason? Eh, I get depressed a lot. Especially when it's all gray and kind of gloomy like it is now. But I look for things that make me happy. That cheer me up. Like beautiful things in nature and fresh air and good company. Or even good solitude. Oh, good. Uh... But yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm often unhappy, and I don't wait for a special occasion to make myself happy. I'll go for a walk or something. I, I try to turn it around, because uh, otherwise, uh, you know, there's no way to live. That's all. I prefer to be happy. I just not always happy. That's all. Sometimes I'm very miserable and unhappy, but that's just a genetic condition that runs in my family. And it's getting better. I'm learning to cope. All right. 41. Do you circulate around at social gatherings? I hardly ever do social gatherings. I'm kind of awkward at them. Uh, I don't think I circulate. No, I think it's, I think I avoid them. I'm usually like in some corner going, God, I can't even hear anybody. How can I talk? Uh, I'm not big on social gatherings. Uh, I'm not against them. I do it once in a while. But not that much anymore. 42. Do you take reasonable precaution to prevent accidents? Yeah, and sometimes they still happen. But I try to avoid it. Got all my fingers and I work with saws and, you know, and planers. And all kinds of implements of destruction or construction. And all my fingers. I've had some close calls. <laughs> I've gotten hurt, but I do it try to avoid accidents. It seems like every 15 years I have a doozy though. Alright. 43. Does the idea of taking... Wait, does the idea of talking in front of people make you nervous? Fuck yeah. I have stage fright. Or at least I used to. I don't know if I still do. Um, I haven't tested it. But then again, making videos has been helpful. I my first videos, I'm like stiff as a board and can barely be heard. Now I'm kind of relaxed about it, so who knows? Maybe I can talk in public now. I don't know. Damn, it's getting cold. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up. I go get warm. 44. If you saw an article in a shop, obviously, mistakenly, marked lower than its correct price, would you try to get it at that price? Fuck yeah. And if they called me on it, they go, oh, we made a mistake, I'd be like, oh, you know what, I don't think I really want this then. Capitalism. Look, I'm not going to steal something. I, I'm not a thief. I don't like thieves, and I don't like thievery. I respect property. But, you know, let the seller beware. All right. I think uh, Caesar said that. Or was it Marcus Aurelius? Yeah. 45. Do you often feel that people are looking at you or talking about you behind your back? Uh, not until you mentioned it. No, no. I don't think I'm that interesting. Wouldn't that be great if I was that fucking interesting? That people, like, really gave a fuck. <laughs> they don't, though. And it's just fine. All right. 46. Are you always getting into trouble? No, but I'm a troublemaker. Why isn't that happening enough? Uh, when I was younger, I got into a lot of trouble once in a while. Uh, I used to ditch school and goof off. I remember once I blew up an outlet in our classroom by sticking a looped wire into it. Didn't shock myself, but I blew the outlet out. I was bored. Uh, not so much these days. These days I try to toe the line. and. Uh, I've gotten most of the trouble out of my system, I think. All right, 47. Do you have in any particular hate or fear? Well, I, I'm pretty scared of uh, 
mind control cults. They make me nervous. I hate them, and I fear them. And I'm not joining any. You're welcome to, anybody out there, but uh, <laughs> you get what you pay into. 48. Do you prefer to be an onlooker rather than a participant in any active sport? You know, I don't even really watch sports uh, that much. Um, I'm not much of a, I'm not that active of a guy. I, I suppose I'd rather watch it, but then again, I'd rather go watch something else. Uh, it's okay. I don't get the appeal personally. All right, 49. Do you find it easy to be impartial? No, but I try hard anyway to be impartial. I try. All right, 50. And final question. The last, final one I'm going to do. There's like 200. We'll have to break this up. Uh, have you a definite set standard of courteous behavior in front of other members of your family? Uh, no, but I probably should. I mean, I'm the infidel. They're all the religious and the, the indoctrinated. And, uh, I love my family. I try not to offend them if I can help it. But it happens, you know. Uh, as far as them behaving around in my area, uh, nah, they can just be themselves. Um, but do they have a standard of behavior for me? Well, yeah. I mean, they got kids. Don't talk about religion in front of their kids. Let's not talk about politics either, if we can help it. And that kind of like is high and by after that. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not that bad. Um, that's all I want to do right now. It's getting fucking cold. It's going to rain pretty soon. Man, the temperature just dropped. So, I hope you found this fascinating. I hope that proves that I'm not as fucked up as I think I might be. But anyway, that is the unvarnished truth. At least the first 50 questions worth. I'll do more later. I hope you found it fascinating and let me know what you think. So, to be continued, peace, the fuck, out, have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having, and watch out for those mind control cults. Goodbye.